Are you trying to play Fortnite Chapter 6 but keep experiencing game crashes? In this video, I'll show various methods you can try to help fix your game crashes, along with a message at the end explaining why your game might still crash even after trying these steps. Before the video begins, I want to say that whenever a new season drops, performance is often terrible in general. It's most likely not your PC, but rather Epic Games themselves. So if this doesn't help, I'm sorry, you'll just have to wait for the next patch. Starting off, open the Epic Games Launcher, go to your library and find Fortnite. Once you find it, click on the three dots next to it. Then click on Manage, and next to Verify Files. Click Verify. Verifying your game files ensures everything is installed correctly in Fortnite. Corrupted or missing files could be the reason your game is crashing. Verifying your files should fix crashing for most players, but if you're still having problems, there are other things you can try. Another method is to repair easy anti-cheat. To do this, go to the folder where Fortnite is installed. Open the Fortnite game folder, then click binaries, then win64, and finally, Open the Easy Anti Cheat folder. Find Easy Anti Cheat underscore setup.exe. Right click it. Then select Run as Administrator. Click Repair Service. And once it's done, click Finish. Another method is changing Fortnite's compatibility settings. Open the Epic Games Launcher. Go to your library. Click on the three dots next to Fortnite and select Manage. Under Installation, click the icon to open Fortnite folder. Go to Fortnite Game, then Binaries, then Win64. Locate Fortnite Client Win64Shipping.exe. Right click it, select Properties, and go to the Compatibility tab. Epic Games recommends checking the Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Box and selecting Windows 8. Additionally, check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations box. Click Apply and OK. Relaunch Fortnite and see if this resolves the crashing. If not, you can revert these changes by unchecking both boxes and clicking Apply and OK. Next, clear your Epic Games Launcher cache. Close the Epic Games Launcher by right-clicking its icon in the bottom right taskbar and selecting Exit. Then, press the Windows key plus R to open the Run box. Type percent local app data percent and press enter. Find the Epic Games Launcher folder and open it. Inside, open the saved folder, find any web cache folders, highlight them, and delete them. Reopen the Epic Games Launcher which will reset the cache. Another helpful step is clearing temporary files. Press Windows plus R to open the Run menu, type temp and press OK. This opens the temp folder. Press Ctrl plus A to select all files, then press delete. If you get a prompt saying files can't be deleted because they are in use, click do this for all current files and then skip. Freeing up storage space can also help. While extra space doesn't boost performance directly unless your SSD is nearly full, ensure you have at least 15% free space to avoid potential issues. Next, check for unnecessary background apps. Go to the bottom right of the taskbar, click the arrow icon, and close any apps you don't need by right-clicking and selecting Exit. This frees up system resources and may improve stability. If you're still crashing, check Fortnite system requirements to ensure your PC meets them. Even if Fortnite technically launches on an older PC, performance may be poor or unstable. If your system barely meets the minimum requirements, upgrading your hardware may be the only long-term solution. Low-end PC Disclaimer if you have a low-end PC that barely meets the minimum requirements, Fortnite may launch, but performance may still be poor. While optimizations can help, sometimes hardware limitations are unavoidable. If you meet the minimum requirements but still experience frequent crashes, the issue could be complex and harder to fix. If this video helped you resolve your Fortnite crashes, please consider subscribing and checking out this recommended video here.